Hey guys, welcome back to the Liberated Studios and more Trails in the Sky. Where we last left off, I uh, did some grinding off camera. Let's just hope that the setup I've got is good. Let's just talk to Elnon. Let's do this thing. So we're going to meet back here? Well, this is the Amber Earl Monument rest area, so this should be the place. The only real issue is whether or not Lieutenant Schwartz and her men can get here undetected. wearing the collars and everything. When did you get here? Nice work staying hidden in Gransel. We have quite a few sympathizers among the citizens. We finished our preparations. We can begin whenever you're ready. All right. We're waiting on your orders, Estelle. Huh? My order? You were the ones who originally received Her Majesty's request. So we're waiting on your command before we begin. But I'm just a rookie. That really doesn't matter. I don't think you'll have a problem. Just do it without shouting, okay? We'll be there to help. We have no objections. I, uh... Have a little faith in yourself. Don't worry about the trivial details. Just deal with the things as they come. Right. Okay then, here goes. Everyone, let's get those hostages rescued. So freaking hungry. Isn't it time to change shifts yet? Come on, stay focused. There's no telling when the Royal Guardsmen might finally show themselves. There weren't more than ten escapees. If the Colonel really puts his mind to it, we could hunt a lot of them down in no time. If that's what you think, then go ahead and try. What? Lieutenant Schwartz! Listen up, we have word from the ID ship. We apparently have a lockdown on the Royal Guardsmen. If we get there quickly, this will be our chance to wipe them out. Roger! That settles that. <laughs> Dang, that's a lot. The airship's locked down. You'll never be able to use it. If you'd just done as the Colonel said, you would have we would have spared your lives. But now you're going to die, and you've only got your own stubbornness to blame. Take this! Bracers! You can't be serious! You're not actually going to try standing against the Royal Army! Sorry to disappoint you, but you've already been marked as criminals. By the order of the Queen, you will let us pass. The ambush party's on the move. We'll go ahead and lure the remaining forces into the front gardens. You can break into the villa when they're distracted. Sounds good. Idios be with all of you. <laughs> all right, looks like they went for it. Now's our chance to sneak in. Okay. Roger that. So this is the Air Royal Villa? It's gorgeous. Certainly gives the castle a run for its mirror. Well, it is a royal family residence. Okay, looks like the welcoming committee's here. Who are you people? You don't need to know our names. Words will serve no purposes here. Let's go! Screw him up. Okay, there we go. Mm. Oh, 
my ass. Keep feeding me. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh. oh, man. I had hoped. Oh, well. Messed with the wrong guy. Oh, sweet. Now, where's the princess being held? This place is huge. We'll just have to search it room by room. If we just hang around here, you can bet we're gonna have company, and soon. Let's get a move on. Who are you people? Don't move a muscle. All right. You're finished. Oh ho 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 ho! Not fun. Attacked out of nowhere. It looks like there's still quite a few soldiers in the villa. They're patrolling the corridor in the central courtyard periodically. Our only option will be to silence anyone who sees us. pretty solid and the locking mechanism is quite secure. We definitely won't be able to get in without a key. I guess we'll have to leave this place for later. Oh! Who are you people? Crap, we totally picked the wrong room. What are you doing here? I ain't seen you before. Good evening. We're with the Bracer Guild. Huh? No need to get up. Just enjoy yourselves and rest well. Holy crap! That's taken care of. They're too drunk to really know what's going on. It's like some kind of bar, same as the one in the castle. Please don't kill me. I I'm not with them. We know that. You work at the villa, right? We came here to help at the request of Her Majesty the Queen. Really? You're honestly here to save us. Yeah, so would you calm down already? I'd just be praised. I thought I was done for when my reporter friend was taken away. I hope he's all right. Reporter friend? He must be Niall. You know him? Yes, I'm the one who contacted him. 
He came to get an interview with the princess who's being guarded here. His passion for his work is hard to argue with, so I wound up sneaking him in and showing him the way. But he was spotted and taken prisoner. Yes, and much to my shame, it was only then that I realized the severity of the situation. I heard that Her Highness was being kept here to protect her from any potential terrorist assault. But the truth is that she's being held prisoner by the Intelligence Division. I was so glad that she was coming that it simply had never occurred to me. I'm truly unfit for my position. Come on, no need to be depressed. Would you have any idea of where the prisoners are being held? Yes, they've all been gathered in the Crest Room, which is the innermost chamber. There's a spare key to that door. It's somewhere here. If memory serves, I believe it's hidden somewhere in the gallery. Roger that. Let's hurry. Alright, we know where that is. We were just there. Who are you? Why do you look so familiar? You guys won the martial arts competition. That means you're with a Bracer Guild. That's right. I don't suppose we could persuade you to just forget you saw us? Shut it! We're defenders of the impregnable fortress. You want past us, you have to go through us. Well, I guess there's no other way, huh? Okay. bad. Yo, we're here to save your bacon. Hey, Niall, you don't look too bad a shape. Are you serious? Huh? You're the princess. It's a pleasure to meet you. We're the Bracer Guild. I think it's a little late for introductions. So we meet again, as promised. Huh? Chloe? Estelle, I sincerely hope you're joking. You ought to have recognized me sooner. But not with the dress and the hair and the things. What happened? Pardon us, Chloe. Estelle doesn't know how to doubt people. What the hell's that supposed to mean? That's the Estelle I know. And Joshua. 
You'll still use that name for me? Yes, since it seems to be the one you prefer. Would you rather I use your real name? No, but thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Okay, so what are you doing here, Chloe? And for that matter, why is the princess here? Uh, she's right in front of you. That's the queen's granddaughter, Princess Claudia. Bah! I'm sorry that I couldn't tell you. I had planned to tell both of you the truth when we next met in Gransel. But then Colonel Richard had me detained. But why? Why would the princess be hiding out in an ordinary school? And why did you have us call you Chloe? I'd like for you to keep calling me that. My real name is Claudia von Oslis. Chloe is a pet name that Jill came up with, using bits from my whole name. Really? Then what about your hair? Oh, this is just a wig. If I had the same hairdo as when I was on campus, it would probably just cause trouble. Can't believe I missed the connection myself. I've seen your picture often enough, and I remember you from the Mayoral scandal in Ruan, but I never put two and two together. I'm sorry. It doesn't seem that Uncle Dunon or Mayor Dalmore recognized me either. Yeah, and the Duke's even related to you. Oh, I forgot something important! I see. To all three of you, I extend my deepest gratitude for coming to rescue me. It was nothing. Heck, if I'd known it was our Chloe in here, no one would have had to ask. Estelle? No doubt. You should say your thanks for Her Majesty, as she's the one who deserves them. She had no concern for herself, just that we save you. I think your safety will give her the strength to resist Colonel's demands. Though doing so may endanger her life. Yes, that is her way. If something is not done, she is in grave danger. Uh oh. What the? She's General Morgan's granddaughter. He's imprisoned at the Hawken Gate. I'd say they're taking her to keep him from causing any trouble. Just as they did with you and your majesty. This isn't just some idle threat. Every man in the special ops has a dream, and we will stop at nothing to achieve it. And that's something you're proud of? I'll make you a deal, Sergeant. Please, take me as your hostage rather than the child. Not a chance. I know I said we'll stop at nothing, but even we don't have the nerve to harm a member of the royal family. General Morgan's grandkid, on the other hand, suits our needs just fine. She's a valuable hostage. And it's not going to cause any real problems if she was the one to get hurt. You're a monster. I'd have said coward myself. Pathetic, disgusting, sick. Pick an adjective. You can talk all you want. It's almost time for the patrols to return from the Royal Avenue. Then we can round up the guardsmen and the bracers. Not bad for one night's work. Shara? What? There, there. It's all right. Hi, you two. Long time no see. Shara? You came. Damn it all. Who are you think you are? <laughs> Olivier! Think of it as my special gift. That's just cruel. Hey, who fired that? Olivier, I'd guess. Bingo! And the star makes his dramatic entrance. Please, hold your applause until after the performance has ended. <laughs> and the drama turns into a comedy. Nice seeing you again, Sherzard. It's been a long time. Indeed, it has. I'd never thought I'd find you in Liberal. But I was honestly quite relieved when I heard that you'd fallen in with Estelle and Joshua. Well, I think you're overestimating my capabilities, like usual. As for you, you've only become more beautiful. I barely even recognized you. Oh, uh, really? Uh, I'm suddenly brimming over with something akin to jealousy. Am I merely a toy to be used when convenient and cast aside when boredom sets in? Hey, Olivier, Ina's been wanting to see you. She's hoping to go out for drinks again. Uh, forgive me, I have committed a grave offense. I swear, none of you ever change. I'm glad to see you, Shara, but I thought the Royal Army had the checkpoints completely sealed off. Yes, but we crossed Valeria Lake by boat, and docked at Gransel Harbor. 
That's one way around the problem. But how did you wind up falling in with the failed, excuse me, traveling musician? We ran into each other at the local guild branch. He was like a lost puppy, so I didn't have much choice other than to bring him along. <laughs> I simply couldn't allow such an amusing and interesting show to go on without me. And may I ask who this fair lady is? Oh, right, introductions. This is the Queen's granddaughter, Her Highness Princess Claudia. She's a friend of ours. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you very much for coming to help me. Think nothing of it. I'm simply doing my duty as a bracer. And I could scarcely consider myself a gentleman if I did not leap to the aid of a lovely lady of noble birth. The honor and pleasure at this meeting is entirely my own. Julia, Sieg. Scree! Scree! Good, I'm happy to see you again. Thank goodness you're unharmed. I was so worried. The feeling is mutual. Words cannot express my shame. If not for my ineptitude, none of this would have come to pass. I'm so ashamed I could take my own life. Please do not say such things. I'm just happy to see you alive and unharmed. Thank you for coming to save me. Your Highness. Not that I'm not moved by all this, but I have to ask. Why is Seek still here? Scree? Uh, he is Her Highness's escort as well as a messenger from the Royal Guardsmen. After all, did he not deliver the letter to your hotel? Oh, that night! I thought it must have been him. That must also be how you learned of Her Majesty's request. Yes, I heard of it from Sieg. Her Majesty sent word through him through the Royal Keep. But the Crest Room, in which Princess Claudia has held no windows for Sieg to use. I was worried when I was unable to make contact. By the way, have all the special ops troops been dealt with? Almost all the soldiers in the villa have been restrained. However, there are quite a few left in Gransel Castle. Much of the Royal Army is under Intelligence Division control, even outside of Gransel. If we're not careful, we run the risk of them seizing control of this building and branding us all as rebels. I hadn't even thought about that. It's a good point. I think it would be best if we get Chloe to a safer location at the very least. Perhaps we could seek asylum at the Erebonian or Republic embassies. Since they're considered foreign territory, it would be very difficult for them to lay a hand on her. There's also that special op shop that we seize nearby. We could use that to allow her to flee the country for the time being. It wouldn't solve the whole problem, but it would buy us some time to find a better solution at the very least. I understand the difficulties of the current situation, but would it be possible to make an official request of the Bracers? What? The hostages have been rescued so I think it'll be all right. Of course, it depends on what the contents of the request are. If so, I must ask you to do the impossible. Will you help me in retaking the royal castle and rescuing Her Majesty? Your Highness. I see, that's right. This time we have to help the Queen. To be honest, I consider the question to be ridiculous because the answer is obvious. But Your Highness, this is no small thing you're asking for. Quite right. There's no chance that a frontal assault would work, even with the capabilities of everyone here. I think that captured special op ship has potential, but we're going to need some kind of seriously clever trick. I have an idea. If everyone will please look at this. What's this map of? It's an ancient diagram of the sewers below Gransel. One of the things it lays out is the path that leads to the castle cellar. What's the meaning of this? How can we have lost contact with the Air Royal Villa? Most likely it has fallen to external force. Either the Guardsmen or the Bracers. Those intervening little... Were you not in command of that division, Second Lieutenant? It is a pity. But what's done is done. Obsessing about it now will accomplish nothing. 
Furthermore, we must strengthen the castle's defenses to ensure that Her Majesty is not taken. I don't need you to tell me that. I swear I will protect this castle while His Excellency is absent, no matter the cost. Okay, here's how we're going to free Gransel Castle and the Queen. First, Joshua and two others will infiltrate the Gransel sewers. You'll proceed to the Royal Guard Room and open the castle gate. Got it. Time to light a few fireworks. <laughs> well, it does seem appropriate for the beginning of the final act. As soon as the gates are open, the guardsmen and four of the bracers will make their way to the castle by way of the street. We need to make a real spectacle to draw all the guards together in one place. You're in good hands. All right. I've been looking forward to this. And finally, your highness, are you certain I cannot get you to reconsider? I'm sorry, but I must be there to help my grandmother. Also, I know how to pilot an airship. I hope to be able to put that skill to good use. If I'd known this would have happened, I would have never taught you. It's okay, Lieutenant. We'll look after Chloe for you. I swear, she'll be kept safe, or my nickname isn't the Silver Streak. I understand. Please do what you can. Once the men inside the castle have been concentrated into one area, Estelle and her team will set down in the garden terrace. Then, they will break into the Queen's room and rescue her. Roger. Both operations will begin at the stroke of noon. Everyone is to remain on alert until then. All right, you have your tasks. Get to them. Dismissed. Joshua, please be careful. Don't go taking any unnecessary risks. I'll be fine. And you try to be on your best behavior. Don't overestimate your own strength. Make sure you watch Shara's back. I understand. Whatever happens, remember our promise. We see each other again safe and sound in Gransel Castle. Count on it. Joshua, there's no telling what kinds of creatures inhabit the sewers. Please take the utmost care. I know, and I will. And don't worry about Estelle. You've grown so much during this trip of yours. Not just in your skill and bracer qualifications, but in your hearts. Or so it seems to me. Shara? Huh? What does that mean? It, it's nothing. Save it for later. <laughs> Even in times of crisis, you can always count on these two brats. Quite so. Now, I think we'll be heading out. May we meet again, my lovelies. Idios be with you. Joshua. Hey, princess. Do you ever wonder if those two have some kind of destiny in store for them? Yes, the thought has crossed my mind. They always have a smile for each other. I have to admit, I'm even the teeniest bit envious.